breweries are celebrating more than 50 years. They serve nearly 2 billion cups of coffee each year, and over 5.3 million Canadians visit Tim Hortons every day. To help get our audience there, you're all going to take home a $15 gift card. Go visit your Timmy's and have some fun. Before you get there, though, you might want to check out your windows, okay? Or maybe get your coffee and then check your windows. I was going to say, I'd like one of those cards as well because we live off Tim Hortons on the job I site. I so just imagine. Could you imagine? 50 years for Tim Hortons, so oh, that's amazing. That is so cool. So we're here to talk about windows, though. Yeah, Can't get distracted. we have to make sure we're keeping the draft out. And it's a fairly <laughs> simple process if that's you right. follow these tips. Yeah, and it's also drafts, waterproofing, everything. Caulking is everything. And I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sing Thriller today. This is actually to protect my hands <laughs> from actually caulking the window. So we want to make sure we wear gloves. Do you mind if I show you? Yeah, show me. Awesome. Show me how this works. So this is representing it like your bit your average basement window. You have your concrete or your brick on the side here and you'd have your window sill here. Yeah. So really all I'm going to do is I get, I'm going to cut it on a 45 degree angle which you can see right there. Okay. I'm going to poke the hole. We're going to get it started. It's almost yeah. like piping, um, so the, the dressing on a cupcake, exactly. would you say? I, I have to relate everything to sweets <laughs> and then I understand it. Well, you work with a lot of chefs here, so I totally I understand. And we're going to grab some actually wipes here. Now these are going to become important because caulking can be a real mess. Okay. You know, and if you do it wrong, it can be very messy, like what I'm doing already here. So the point is you don't want too much. You don't want a big bubble of it in that corner. Exactly, and it really work. depends on your gap. The, the more you open the hole, the more caulking is going to come out. Okay. So if you have a giant gap alongside your window, you're going to want to cut it a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay, so we have a tight joint here. I'm going to try and get a nice little bead here. Right. Just like that. See, that's a steady hand right there. See, and it looks boring, folks, but this is actually going to save your basements. It's going to save moisture from coming in. It's going to save drafts from coming in, your heat loss, it's going to do all of that just with a little bit of $5 caulking. So most importantly, it's going to save you money. A exactly. lot of us are losing heat. We're losing our air conditioning in the summer as well because all of these little cracks, they add up. That's right. And that's what the thermal imaging camera showed us, right? right? We saw so much heat loss around the windows. And that's what we're trying to avoid just by filling a little bit. Now, how long does it take for that to dry? Now that's going to take, I would leave it 24 hours on a, on a nice day. It's got to be above zero for sure, but read the labels. Every caulking has a label on it to ensure that you're not doing it in minus temperatures or too hot as well. Okay. So now that we have the bead there, we're going to take a little bit of water. Now this is a little trick we came up with. We take a little bit of soap, uh, dish soap. Yeah. We mix it with water and it just acts as a lubricant so that your fingers don't stick to it. All the caulking is going to want to stick to your fingers. Yeah. And it's going to want to pull and make a really messy job. But with this, you just put your finger in it a little bit and it just helps you glide over that seam and what it does is just creates a nice finish on it because really caulking is a finish on your house. Okay, okay. so that's really, that's going to keep it there and it's going to seal it. Exactly, so that's going to seal it right there and it can get a little bit messy. Now we're doing it white against black. Now really you want to keep the color to the window. Oh, right. You want to keep the color of the caulking to what the window actually looks like. So we're using white so it can show up on this display. Yeah. but. Really, that's what we're doing right there. And it's as simple as that. Now, really making sure your surface is clean to begin with is going to be very, very important because okay. otherwise it won't stick. You can actually get the caulking in uh, like chocolate brown and... You can get them in almost every color these days. Any color okay. of siding or brick, they usually sell a caulking to match. So Ooh, that's good. there's all kinds of colors out there. Don't be afraid to use whatever colors you want, really. But really, we, uh, we like sticking it to the color of the window. So it just matches the rest of the house, right? Right. Okay. So it let it sit out. for 24 hours. Make let it sure sit for 24 it's hours. nicely sealed and you're done. Saved you money and gotten it's, rid of that draft. Exactly. So just a little bit of tips to keep it nice and clean. You follow those tips and it'll be a nice, perfect job. Very good, Damon. Thanks for that. Thank Let's go to Brian. Mark on up.